Hi guys, this is Teacher Jane and today we are going to answer 10 items under the science domain. Let's start with number 1. Plants produce their own food molecules through a process called photosynthesis. What do plants need for photosynthesis to push through? A. Light B. Light and water C. Light, water and carbon dioxide D. Light, water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. The food making process of plants is called photosynthesis. We have these materials or substances that we need in order for photosynthesis to occur or, in this case, to push through. So we need letter C. We need light or sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Number two, imagine you have a pet animal called Diwata. Diwata is fat and she has a very thick fur coat. She also likes to sleep for months at a time. After a year in your house in the Philippines, you notice that Diwata is suffering. You then decided to release her back to her natural habitat. Which biome do you think is right for her? Biome is under ecology and we have many biomes in the earth. In our choices, we have letter A, desert, B, tundra, C, savanna, or D, tropical rainforest. In the question, we have many keywords. For example, she has a very thick fur coat and then there are hints that she likes to hibernate or to sleep for months at a time. So, of course, it's not the desert. You don't need a thick fur coat in the desert. And we have another clue. In the Philippines, a diwata is suffering. The Philippines is a tropical rainforest. So, if diwata is suffering in the Philippines, it only means that the tropical rainforest is not her habitat. Is it letter B, tundra, or C, savanna? Among biomes, the coldest one in which there is very few trees is letter, letter B, tundra. The tundra literally means treeless and it is the region of icy cold lands in which very few animals live. Usually those with thick fur coat and those that hibernate. Number three. Flowering plants such as daisies and orchids belong to Magnoliophyta. Based from the phylogeny of their characters, the flower of a daisy and the flower of an orchid have been acquired from a common ancestor. If the daisy and the orchid's common ancestor has a flower, what can be inferred from this character? Letter A. This character is said to be analogous. B. This character is said to be homologous. C. This character is said to be discontinuous. Or D, this character is said to be homoplasious. When talking about uh, structures in genetics, we only have two. It's homologous and then analogous. So let's eliminate letter C and letter D. Going back to the question, we have a certain clue which is about acquiring or it, they have been acquired from a common ancestor when two organisms are acquired from a common ancestor it means it is letter b the, this character is said to be homologous if they have the same or common ancestor it is homologous but once they have different ancestor it is analogous Number four, how is spermatogenesis different from oogenesis? A. Sperm cells take longer to develop, unlike in egg cells. B. Ovum is produced in continuous manner, unlike in sperm production. C. Spermatogenesis occurs at a certain parts of childhood, while oogenesis occurs only during adolescence. Letter D, there are prolonged interruptions in oogenesis, unlike in spermatogenesis, which occurs in constant manner. Generally speaking, spermatogenesis is the process of making sperm cells. 
Meanwhile, oogenesis is the process of making egg cells, and among these statements, the only correct difference is letter letter D. There are prolonged interruptions in oogenesis, unlike in spermatogenesis, which occurs in constant manner. When a girl is born, um, she doesn't immediately create or produce egg cells. It is stop or it halts for a certain period of time and then during puberty when the girl gets menstruation oogenesis or the production of egg cells continue unlike in boys since birth sperm cells has been produced so it's letter t there are prolonged interruptions in oogenesis unlike in spermatogenesis which occurs in constant manner Five. In your biology class, you look into a compound microscope. You notice that the organism you are trying to view is out of focus. Which microscope part do you adjust to sharpen the focus? Is it A. Mirror, B. Eyepiece, C. Fine Adjustment Knob, or D. Chorus Adjustment Knob? Mirror is for the light. Eyepiece is for your eyes to look into the specimen. So we are just torn between fine or coarse adjustment knob. Coarse adjustment knob is used to zoom in and zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. But the part that we need to sharpen the focus for it to have higher resolution, we use letter C, fine adjustment knob or FAK. Number six, for your birthday, a friend gave you a plant as a gift. You named the plant Pagasa. Pagasa is succulent, has many spines, and barely no leaves. Which biome is Pagasa's natural habitat? So we are back. Back to the biomes. This time, we have a plant which is a succulent. It has spines and barely no leaves. So from those clues, we can deduce that this plant lives in a somewhat extreme environment and it's a hot environment because it has no leaves. So the answer is letter, letter A, desert. Number seven, all the following are postulates of kinetic molecular theory of gases exact. We are looking for the wrong statement. Is it A, the collisions between molecules are elastic? B. The gas molecules are in constant random motion. Letter C. At lower temperatures, molecules have higher kinetic energies. D. The volumes of the molecules are negligible compared with the volume of the container. Letters A and B are correct. Which has the exception? Is it C or D? Between the two, the wrong statement, the incorrect statement is letter, letter C. At lower temperatures, molecules have higher kinetic energies. That is not correct. At lower temperatures, molecules have lower kinetic energies. Number 9. Energy within the oceans is distributed through which process? A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation or D. Refraction we have three ways to transfer heat or energy. Conduction, convection, radiation. We eliminate refraction because refraction is not a way, a method to transfer energy. But when talking about oceans or any fluid like a liquid fluid, the way to transfer energy through a fluid like the, the ocean is letter. Letter B, convection. Letter A, conduction, is the heat transfer with direct contact. And then letter C, radiation, is the heat transferred through the light rays. But when talking about the oceans, which is a fluid or a liquid, we transfer heat by convection. Number 10. I mean, number nine, the earth is heated by the sun by which process? 
A. Conduction, B. Convection, C. Radiation, or D. Refraction. We are still on the methods of heat transfer, and once again, we eliminate letter D. Refraction. Of course, it is very wrong to answer conduction, because the sun is not side by side by the earth. If that happens, everyone on earth will be burned. We are just going to choose between convection and then radiation. Between the two, the heat of the sun is transferred by letter C, radiation. From the outer space, the sun rays or light rays radiate to the earth. And last item. An object with what looks like a tail is visible at the sky for days. What object is this? Is it A. Asteroid, B. Comet, C. Meteor, or D. Meteoroid? These words are sometimes used interchangeably even if they have many differences. Let's just differentiate them. If a space rock is large and is located between Mars and Jupiter, it is an asteroid. If a certain part of an asteroid is chipped off, it is now called a meteoroid. Once a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere and it burns, we sometimes call this a shooting star that is now called a meteor. And then a comet is a, a space rock but not only rock it has ice methane carbon dioxide and gases and it glows as it orbits around the sun and it has a distinct hair like structure called the tail so our answer here is letter letter b comet that's the end of our science items god bless on your studies see you in our next videos